problem because I'm not eating any junk food at all. Any junk food that I have, I'm usually eating it, uh, making it, sorry, okay. Alcohol has gone down. So here I am, I've lost over 40 pounds, maintained the 40 pounds off, because what am I doing to put it back on? Okay, and now I'm healthier. That 200 pound sandbag, okay, I could still do that. I could still do more, okay? I actually have a video back then of me doing 300, but that was like a one-off, right? But yeah, I'm stronger today than I was back then. So here I am, 40 plus pounds off, off, because I haven't had it on for what? Let's just say last September, last October, I couldn't have weighed over 210, 250, that's impossible. Okay, because a lot of these jeans that I have are size 32 and the size jeans I'm wearing now are size 32, although I probably could take it down a bit, but yeah, do you know, do you, do you know what I mean? And um, so, fit or fat, fit or fat, you keep telling yourself you're getting bigger, you keep telling yourself you're getting stronger, but meanwhile I'm telling you as a coach that this is exactly what I see in my practice and I get rid of it. Especially now it's worrisome because you have these 20 year olds. When we're 20, we're not that fat. When we're 20 and going to the gym, we're in shape, buddy. We used to go to clubs, we used to spar, we used to go to the gym, we used to spar. Okay, we're strong, okay? No, we didn't have 500 pound deadlifts like you see now, but I did have a 500 pound deadlift. I did have a 500 pound squat, okay? But we were not fat like these. I don't remember any friends that were like, I have guys that are in their 20s coming up to me 260 pounds and they're bragging about how strong they are and I'm like, I don't even care. You're fat, you're overweight, you're not healthy. Okay, you're just not. You have to realize that you're just not. Okay, so you have to understand if you're gonna lose 40 pounds like I did, okay, and you're still stronger, that's proper coaching, right? And anything that would reverse that process would screw you up, okay? So you would say, okay, we're gonna have um, Thanksgiving, okay? Like I said, I see people getting worse and worse and worse because they keep harming themselves to say, hey, honey, I got a cake. Oh, who said you needed that cake? You have people that are still smoking. They complain about expensive clothing but they don't mind spending uh, whatever it is, 10, 15 bucks a day on cigarettes, okay? And probably more on the weekend if they're just gonna sit down and do nothing all, that, all day and watch movies and sit on a patio and watch what I'm doing, right? So, fit or fat? Realize how fat you are because these guys that actually think they're so big, they're actually not, okay? And a lot of people would say, how come you're not scared of big guys? I've never been scared of big guys. I'm usually scared of the small guy. <laughs> Like, how do you figure? First of all, <laughs> I've been in enough scraps to know big guys don't scare me. Okay, I've never really had too many troubles with that kind of... Uh, yeah. with, with my boxing skills, I'm pretty good. With the little guys, I gotta be a little careful because they're more in shape, more aggressive, and I find that sometimes where one guy, where one, one bigger guy can throw one solid punch, the, the little guy can throw like 10 of them real quick and that's gonna shock you. That's better shape, okay? Who are you going to invite? The 260 pound power lifter that can't bend over to move your furniture? Or are you going to come over and uh, invite one of your CrossFit friends? Okay? You have to decide, guys, what you're going to do. And it can't be an on and off switch of, I'm going to get in shape, I'm going to get out of shape. Okay? I'm in shape all the time now because I built myself to a, a place where no matter what happens, my energy levels are always the same now. So it can't be that I'm getting weaker as I get uh, less body weight, okay? I'm actually trained myself to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's basically what you were seeing in the video. I already knew what the outcome was. What you're seeing there from two years ago was the process, okay? Where I'm actually training hard, training really hard, training very intense, and then that would elevate my strength level. And then slowly, slowly, I would clean up my diet, clean up my lifestyle, and I would still maintain, if not increase, my strength level, which I did. So 
it's kind of like shaping the the rock into a nice pebble or something like that okay it's like taking but I'm not talking about getting fat on purpose I'm talking about you know if I take a person right now and I put them on a fat loss diet that person might not have no energy tomorrow and that person might not have any strength and then after that the mood starts going and then when the mood starts going you don't want to start exercising you don't want to start socializing you're not energized to start cooking good food or uh, you're just blah so sometimes you just gotta say you know what okay this is what we're gonna focus on okay and you make serious modifications in the gym so you get stronger and more conditioned and slowly and slowly you start fixing things well diet sleeping patterns toxicity stress you start fixing those slowly 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 and then you see everything like the weight coming down but the energy is going up the strength going up a lot of times people just make themselves worse when they're gonna lose weight okay make yourself better all the time so I'm gonna wrap this up okay is losing weight expensive because you gotta buy new clothes I like the process I don't care I like looking good and you know what let me just add to that I remember a couple years ago at a, at a gym where we used to have an annual party in the summertime and I'd be the only the only member the only strength and conditioning coach that would actually be dressed up nice and i remember the owner would always come up to me and say george thank you thank you thank you. i'm like what what's going on man you always dress nice you always have respect for me you get dressed up you know whereas other people would still wear their gym clothes to the party where this guy would spend lots of money on food and catering okay people had no respect they'd still come in their track pants and their track pants where i would like Hey man, what am I wearing tonight? Because I got clothes to wear. You know what I mean? If not, I'll go shopping, right? Why not? What else would you do? Play home video games, go on Instagram and watch you do another deadlift workout? No thanks. I'd rather go shopping. I'm not going to wear it. It's okay, man. I'm going to die one day. Somebody can have this. Still got the tags out. I've never been worn. Okay. But personal trainers don't dress nice. Strength and conditioning coaches don't dress nice. And then they wonder, hey, I don't get any clients. Hey, let me tell you a little secret, okay? Because I actually get out of the house a little bit more than most people. When I actually go to like the CN Tower, the Harbor Front, Niagara Falls, and I go to these, the art gallery, the museum, and people walk up to me with the camera and they start ask, you know, talking to me. And, hey, what do you do for a living? They always ask. I'm a strength and conditioning coach. Oh, I thought you were a photographer. No, I'm a strength and conditioning coach and I photography to relax. And then we get into a deep conversation and they ask for a card and they will see if I, I can help them, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But they are impressed. A, I looked the part because they see it as opposed to these fake people living behind a, a screen uh, on Instagram. Okay. They see it. They see me in restaurants. What, two weeks ago? Uh, yeah, when I was making that video at the restaurant, I had a lady behind me. She couldn't wait till I was done, her and her boyfriend. Okay. And they wanted to know what I do. And then when they found out I was a strength and conditioning coach, okay. They, we exchange cards and whatever, and she does uh, business travel. He does photography himself, which incredible photos. And you meet people. If I was wearing like a track pants, like uh, let's just say this. Uh, okay, if I was wearing something like that, how are you impressive? They're gonna think, what are you hiding? Because people that wear stuff like that are hiding a lot. Because you don't want to show yourself to say, hey, I'm not so strong, maybe. People are always telling you they're so strong. Well, maybe you're not, because you're telling me you're gonna eat junk this weekend. Well, why are you? Is it your dessert? Are you gonna have a cigarette with that? Why not? You wanna start comparing cigarettes to junk food? Are you, you're looking at the right guy, we can do that, okay? You don't have to, you can go online, you can see it. There's a lot of medical doctors, a lot of researchers that will tell you that junk food is probably more dangerous than, junk, uh, than cigarette. So you have a treat, you want a dessert, okay. And other people will say, hey, I'm strong, I, I deadlift 600 pounds, but you're 70 pounds overweight, okay? You're 70 pounds overweight, buddy, you're gonna have a heart attack. By the time you're 30, you're not gonna be able to get your dick up, okay? If you're dating, <laughs> which I doubt, because most of the females that I've hung out with all my life wouldn't even look at you. You can't even look at your own toes, so what are they gonna look at? 
that's not fat, sh fat shaming, guys. It's lifestyle shaming. Okay, you're trying to bring misery into your uh, into your circle to say, hey, I'm having a donut. Why don't you have one? Or you start enticing people. Look at our cheat day. Look at our full meal. We ate everything in Newfoundland. We ate everything in there. What are you trying to prove? What are you trying to show? What is your message? Okay, my message is, if it's wrong, it's probably always wrong. Okay, if I have a blueberry cake and I make it at home, I make it at home. Besides the fact, there's nothing wrong with my health. Okay, I'm pretty shredded, I'm pretty lean, I'm pretty strong, and I rarely eat junk food, so eat uh, pastries or whatever. So even if I was to go downtown, A, I would probably know where to go. I know where they actually make them, I know the chefs, so I can probably get a better, it's like worse, better, and best. I could probably get the best downtown, which I know where to go, okay. Second of all, it would have zero effect on me because I'm always depleted, as you can see in the pictures that I took this morning, okay. I'm always a little bit depleted and a lot of people, well, you don't look full, you're not as strong in the gym and you're ruining your gains. I'm not ruining nothing, bro. I feel amazing. You are trying to tell me that I don't feel good. I'm telling you that I feel my best and that is also because I have so much negative in my life, so much stuff that shouldn't be in my life that is because I can't control it. I still have that on my head. I'm still the best ever because that's what I created. That's what I allow. Do you know what I mean? As opposed to people telling you, hey, you should have a carb up day. Why should I have a carb up day? And of all my clients in the past two plus decades, ask them if I've ever told them to eat waffles, pancakes, fake maple syrup. Go, I want to hear this. Which client have I ever, ever, ever told them to do that? Okay. I've worked with guys that did refeeds and whatever, 20, 30 years ago, I watched it, and I can tell you it's the total opposite of what we're witnessing today. It's almost shocking, but those are kind of like little industry secrets that are not really secrets because these guys that are on Instagram telling you to go eat junk food, go enjoy yourself, you deserve a treat, oh, it's uh, um, Thanksgiving. They're just basically trying to ruin your gains so they can keep customers. Buy Gymshark clothing. Why would I want to buy track pants? I wear track pants all day at work. Why, why wouldn't I want to walk out of the house with something like this where it actually symbolizes that, hey, you know what? I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. I take care of people, okay? I'm in the health field. I take care of athletes. I make people their best ever. Why don't I just dress nice and look nice? Because I am nice, because I'm living the real lifestyle, not the fake one where Oh, uh, I decided to bulk up because I want to gain five pounds of muscle. And you're telling me you have a degree in exercise science and this is what you're trying to tell people? I have a problem with that. I have a problem with people that uh, show off their exercise science degrees and their background and then they go eat apple crumblers and junk food and Cereals. You, they open up the drawers on their videos and all you see is cereals and you're thinking, really? So, at Workout Solutions, we always work on things that will last. Okay? Last. If you can't do something that's going to last, okay, there's no point in doing it. So if you're gonna dedicate an X amount of time and effort into losing 20 pounds because you have to lose 20 pounds, you might not have to today, but you might have to later on when your doctor says, hey, you know what, your blood sugars are really high, or this is elevated, that's elevated, and probably losing 20, 30 pounds is probably a good idea. You can either do it now, you like to do it, or you can do it later where you're forced to do it. Okay, up to you. Again, you can see in the videos, I've lost 40 plus pounds in the last year and I've kept it off and I'm stronger. So that should tell you that this cycle of yo-yo dieting, of yo-yo fitnessing and periodization, this, it's all garbage, okay? You're either doing the right thing or you're doing the wrong thing. What side of the fence are you on, okay? And it's a whole process of having a social life. You gotta be social have a job, be around positive people, looking good, dressing good, doing the stuff that you love, doing the stuff that has meaning, doing the stuff that you have passion for. And this is a lifestyle. 
not, I'm going to the gym, man. I'm going to wear gym shark, man. I'm, I'm huge, man. I'm strong, man. Nobody cares, man. You're fat and you're out of shape, okay? Basically, your three, 300 kilos deadlift doesn't impress me when, you know, you're 22 and you weigh 260 pounds. You're probably a drug abuser, which I'm not even going to get into this video, which is another topic, because a lot of these people that I'm talking about that look like shit are also abusing drugs, which makes it even worse. But I'm going to leave that side of the equation out. I'll leave that for a further time. So me, I'm going to pack it up. In the videos from before, the 40 plus pound difference, and it's 40 plus pounds off, and it's still a work in progress. You would say, oh, I remember this sh sweater that you bought that you've only worn twice. <laughs> you spent the, <laughs> I don't even want to tell you what I spent. It's a little bit looser now. Hey man, that's the way it is. Uh, it looks good. I feel good. I love it. It doesn't feel like the sandpaper stuff you bought at Winners. Okay. I think this will probably last 20 years. And second of all, if I lose weight, that means I'm doing something right, doesn't it? If I'm losing weight and I'm looking muscular and I'm looking more ripped, that means I'm doing something right, right? Don't do anything wrong, guys, that'll ruin your health, okay? I know it's Thanksgiving, I know Christmas is, what, 72, 73 days away, and people are gonna start complaining, and it's, it's come to a point where it's not complaining anymore, it's acceptance. They're accepting the fact that misery loves company to say, hey, this is what we're gonna do, this is what we're gonna have. We're gonna have donuts, we're gonna have cheesecake, we're gonna order food instead of make food. Come to my kitchen, cook food, okay? If you've ever been in Europe, like say Greece, during Easter time, okay, everybody's baking their cookies and their sweets and they're baking it. Here, I made this, here, I made this, as opposed to going to the bakery and you can buy it. What's the point of that? Do you know what I mean? So, that's just basically it, okay? So if you're going to do it that way, then you're not going to get nowhere and you're only going to get worse. And you're going to say, okay, so you lost the 20 pounds, but it's not noticeable. You did it for the summer. What's going on now? Oh, I forgot. If you go on social media now, they're telling you, oh, why don't you bulk up? For what? Okay. So if you're going to do it that way, that means that you're not getting anywhere right because if you lost the weight in the first place why would you do anything to gain it back and now what they're doing is they're selling oversized shirts for this season this north american season where it's getting a little bit colder and you're going to be covered up and they're telling you hey bulk up they're actually telling you bulk up don't do that okay don't do that all right, guys, Coach Tanis out. Okay, hope that inspired you a little bit to do the right things. Uh, the 40 pound difference there in my videos, hopefully that inspired you as well. And just keep it off and keep doing the right thing and you just get better and better and you start feeling better and better. And then you look at these pictures and you say, oh my God, man, I weighed 40 pounds in there. You can't even tell the difference. That's right, you can't, okay? And you'll be stronger and you'll be healthier and you'll be more energized and you can fit in clothes that make you look good, okay? And you'll look good on the street when potential clients want to see you. You'll look good when the opposite sex wants to see you or he, she, they, whatever you want, whatever you're into, man. Have fun. But if you are out of shape, if you're breathing, if you're drinking, if you got to wear oversized clothes for I don't know what reason, because you're so big and strong and you got to eat your donuts, whatever, that's totally unattractive. That's totally unhealthy. Okay. I know, because I work with people all day, and I, I, I know, okay? It's not healthy, even though a lot of people will tell you to, and you can't cycle that. Oh, we're going to Cancun, let's look, look good. No, look good all the time, okay? Anytime that somebody asks me to see my abs, or they ask me whatever, I'm ready, because there's nothing changes, because everything stays the same. It's all good. All right, Coach Tanis out. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful Thanksgiving, okay? And uh, stay true to yourself and don't screw up yourself. Don't damage yourself, okay? All right, guys, love you.